Now let's talk about a complete new operator, which is relational operator. It's not new for you and for me as well. But there are two, uh, like four uh, relational operators that are there in Apex. Greater than, less than, greater than equals to, less than equals to. Let's talk about the rules uh, that we have got related to relational operators in here. So the number one rule. If x or y equals null and our integers doubles, comma dates or date times, then it will return false. It's very simple. If you're trying to compare x and y, no matter what the operator is, if any one value is null, the output of that relational operator will be null. Because if you're trying to compare null with any, any value, literally any value, obviously it cannot compare that value with null, right? So it will always return a false value. And here's an example for it. Let's talk about rule one. So rule one says if x or y equals null and our integers comma doubles dates or date times, then it will return false. So let me explain it to you what this means. x, y, these are two operands with the operator relational anyone greater than less than greater than equals to less than equals to. If any one of them includes a null value, and uh, like yeah any one of them includes a null value and the data type of that value is integer double date or date time then in that case no matter what the other value is it will always return a false value so here is an example that ex that's that explains uh, how it actually works so i have created an integer variable i1 which has got a null value because i haven't assigned any value to it and then another variable is i2 which has got 8 as a value and if i'll compare i2 and if I'll say like i2 is greater than uh, i1 or not, so null. So we are, what we are asking is uh, the, like the, the what we are asking the program or the compiler or the interpreter to do is uh, compare that 8 is greater than null or not. So null, you cannot compare it with any other value, right? When it comes to integers, strings, date, and date times. So in that case, it will always return a null value, no matter what the relational operator is or what the other value is. But in rule two, it's a little different. So when uh, we'll try to compare a non-null string or an ID value with a null value, it will always be greater than, than the null value. So here's an example. I have string S1 is equals to hey and string S2 is equals to null. So hey is greater than null. So that means like if I'll write down S1 greater than S2, then in that case, it will return true. And if I'll write down S1 less than S2, then it will return false because a non-null value is always greater than a null value when it is about string or id. Now it's time for rule 3 and the rule 3 is if x and y are ids then they must reference the same object otherwise a runtime error occurs. Let me explain it to you very easily. So we have got two ids right one is of an account and one the other one is of a contact we cannot compare both of them we cannot use it uh, yeah, we, we do, we can compare two IDs, but those two IDs needs to be of the same object. If you are comparing the ID of account, the other ID should also be of an account. Otherwise, a runtime exception will be there or will occur or will be thrown. So here's an example that explains that. ID one and ID two, I've created two variables of ID type and the first one is of account and the second one is of all, is also of account. Uh, and how, like how I know that it is of account, because the initial three digits are 001. So every account object's uh, record starts, uh, record ID of every account object starts with 001, that's it. So if I'll try to compare uh, this ID one is greater than equals to ID two, then in that case it will return true because both of these uh, IDs are similar or are same. But if I'll try to compare it with ID three, which stores the ID of contact and contact objects record ID starts with 003. So yeah, this is contact objects uh, ID. So if I'll try to compare it, ID one is greater than equals to ID three, a runtime error will be generated because these two IDs does not belong to the same object. One belongs to account and one, uh, the other one belongs to contact, which is the reason of generating or throwing the exception at runtime or runtime error. Yeah, runtime error is generating because of that. Relational operators are interesting and rule four definitely is. If X or Y is an ID and the other value is a string, it's string over here. It's not string, it's string. Uh, is a string, then the string is validated and treated as an ID. So if you're trying to compare two, uh, one ID with another string, 
that string will be treated as an id and it will be validated that whether it is a valid id or not and then the comparison will happen so over here what is happening um, id4 and uh, like in id4 reference variable we have got uh, a record id of account object of account record and in string s3 we have got a string which is this is it this is not it yet so uh, if we if we are trying to compare uh, an id with a string value it will first try to validate that whether it is a legitimate id or not and if it is not then a runtime error is thrown or occurs the last and rule number 5 with what relational operators is x and y cannot be boolean obviously it makes sense right like true is greater than false or false is greater than true why to compare true or false they are two different values and they cannot work when uh, or like they, it's not it doesn't make any sense uh, if you're comparing two boolean values uh, with the help of relational operator so it will definitely generate a compile time error when you'll try to compare two boolean values with any of the relational operators and that's it about relational operators